All right, in this program, we are going to write a program that reads a data file from the name company data.csv file into a map. Using the map, answer the following questions. For which company does Sheena Gregorowitz work? How many people have a name that begins with the string Fred? Print the name and company name for all people that work for an LLC. Okay. All right, so there's what the data look like. So it literally is the person's name, first name, last name, it looks like. And then it's got the company name that they work for. It's weird, some are in quotes. Okay, I see why. Well, no, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Some are in quotes and some are not. So hopefully that means that it's not too messed up. All right. So we first off, we want to read this uh, data. So, um, uh, so let's put our imports up there. Import Java dot io dot asterisk. We're going to be putting this data into a map, right? So that's Java dot util dot asterisks that we're going to need. All right, and then the class header. And then public static void main string args. All right, and so now we want to set up a file reader. the name of the data file which is name underscore company underscore data dot csv and then we want a buffered reader And we are going to have to have a catch block. And then one for file not found. All right. Maybe that will compile. Uh, okay, so I think uh, this one o uh, overrides this one. So let's see. Yeah, okay, so normally I put these the other way, that's what I thought, so. So file not found exception must be a child class or descendant of IO exception. Um, and that's why if you if you put it the other way, it, it won't work um, because it says, hey, you, you already have a plan uh, for that. So, okay. And so let's uh, just put a message here. So the message is uh, same thing down here 
and doing it this way, then you know we'll be able to tell. Um, at least distinguish between an IO exception and a file not found, right? Whereas if we did it the other way with just IO exception, we wouldn't necessarily know, you know, what what exception um, was the issue. Okay. All right, and so then uh, we're going to read a line. And then while that line is not null, then we're going to do something in this case. I'm just going to print out the line. And then we are going to read another line here. And that should print out right all of our. all of the lines in the data file here um, when we run it. Okay. So it looks good. Oh, I know why they have quotes now. It's because of the, uh, because uh, the ones with quotes are the ones that have a comma in the name of the company. That's why. All right, so um, all right, so what we want to do is um, not really print out the line, right? But we want to uh, split the line, right? So and I'm afraid uh, that's going to mess us up here. So, uh, but uh, line dot split. And we're going to split around the comma. And just to see kind of how the array gets uh, printed out or how it gets split. Then I'm going to do arrays.toString.parts, and uh, I think maybe that will that will go because I have this, yeah, blur here. All right, so let's take a look at one of these ones with commas and make sure that it's getting split out correctly. And it looks like it is, right, with the, um, because those company names that are in quotes, right, because it's in, in those quotes, uh, in double quotes, it's not splitting across those company names that have commas in the company name. So that looks okay. All right, uh, so again, we don't really want to print these things out, right? What we wanna do is to put these in a map and then, um, and then uh, look through the map to answer those questions that we were asked here. All right, so uh, let's define our map up here. So map, and it's going to be string. The keys are going to be the person's name, right? And the, that, the company that they work for is going to be uh, the uh, value, okay? So map string, let's just call it map, and that's gonna be equal to new. Over here, it's hash map, right? And then same types for the keys and the values. All right, and what we really want to do is um, to not print this stuff out, but what we want to do is to put um, those values in the map, okay? Uh, so what we would do is map.put, and then their name is going to be part zero and their company is going to be parts one, right? So we will put those in the map. All right, and then uh, after I get down here, then I'm going to print uh, the map out, system.out.println map. 
and I guess since I'm putting this code down here after this try and catch block, then I probably should um, put some code in here that will, if there's an error, it won't keep going after the catch block, right? So I'm gonna do that. So then basically just take the chicken way out and say, hey, if something goes wrong, I'm just quitting. That's it, okay. All right, so let's do this. All right, you can see the map, there it is, right? So, so far so good. All right, so our map is uh, set up and now what we wanna do is to try and answer these questions uh, with the map. So for which company does Sheena Gregorowitz work? All right, so what we would do there, right, is to do system.printlin and we are looking up, that's a key, right? A person's name are the keys. And so what we would do is um, we would look up the key, Sheena Gregorowitz in the map, right? And get the value out uh, corresponding to that, okay? So we could say something like, Gina Gregorowitz works for blank. Steedman. Okay. Uh, now let's see something. Is, let's take a look at that because that looks highly suspicious with uh, this quote here and then nothing after it. So. So the data file is right here. Yeah, that is a little bit strange. It looked fine up here, but maybe I was deceiving myself and uh, that it it was taking the whole thing. Uh, so let's go back up here and, uh, and check that out. So if parts zero dot equals Sheena Gregorowitz Then let's print out parts um, one. Okay, so that does not look like it's working very well, the split. Uh, it looked like it was at first, right? But I, it just does not look that way to me. All right, so what I'm gonna do is uh, to use index of, right? So I'm gonna get rid of all this. All right, and so I'm going to do where the first comma is line dot index of. 
And so that will just find where the first comma it is, whereas split will split across all commas. I don't know, it looked like it was working, so, but obviously it's, it's not. So, um, so I'm going to then find where the first comma is located and then start pulling off um, the name of the person. And that would be line dot uh, substring and then zero and then first comma. And then for company, that's, I'm gonna use line.substring and then um, first comma plus one, right? Start after the comma. And then I didn't put any index to stop at, so therefore substring will take all the way to the end of the line. And so then what I wanna do is put map dot uh, name and then company. All right, let's see if that goes. All right, that looks looks a lot better that way. Okay. All right, so that seems to be working now. All right, so what's next? Uh, it says, how many people have a name that begins with the string Fred? Okay, so what we're going to have to do, right, is iterate over the keys of this. All right, and so remember, it's going to be set string. And I'll call it keys. And that's going to be equal to map dot key set like so. All right, so that will pull all the keys and put them in this uh, data structure, right? To call the set, and uh, then all we have to do is iterate over that for um, string name in keys uh, system dot out dot println name that will print all of the uh, names right in there in the data set that's not exactly what we want right what we want is um, the names that begin with Fred. So it would be if um, um, name dot starts with Fred. Then print their name. All right, so you can see we get two people, right? Um, Frida Woodwin and Fred Connor. And if we wanted to, we can just say, um, uh, if there were a lot, right, then we could have a variable, right, and go uh, let count equals zero. And then every time we find a person whose name starts with Fred, just increase the count by one, right? So count plus plus. And then after the for loop, right, we would say there are blank people whose names begin with Fred. And I need to add a percent n up here so it won't run all of those together. And it might help if I put a semicolon at the end of the statement. Oh, there's three people. 
I missed Frederike Achovato. Okay, so there's three, three people. Okay. Um, next question. Print the name and company name, right, for all people that work for an LCC. Okay. So here we are going to iterate over both uh, the keys and the values. We want those together, right? And so that is going to be collections. And then it's going to be, all right, I have to look back. I'm sorry because that one is not one that I remember all the time. Uh, it's, it's in here, sorry. So browse uh, here. Map entry, right? It's, is it map.entry, and then it would be string, string, and then um, entries equals map.entry set. No, it's a set. It's a set of those. Sorry. And I'll need another arrow here. There we go. All right. So then it is for uh, set up a loop, right? And then it would be for um, map dot entry string string entry in entries and system dot out dot printlin um, um, I'll just put name the company percent s company percent s and then percent n and then entry dot get key entry dot get value all right so that should print everybody out And that's print F. All right, there we go. All right, and so then um, we don't want everybody printed out, right? Just the people that work for an LLC, uh, limited liability company, right? So that would be if. Um, Entry dot get value dot contains LLC, then print. So if LLC appears anywhere in the value, which are the company names, then those people should get printed out. So, and print C. All right, and there we go. So we have printed out the names and company names of all the people that work for an LLC. And there's quite a few of them. And I think that is it on this one. Uh, let's see.